Welcome back. Today I want to quickly share a very simple trick I use that I've found to speed up my colonisation times when I'm making grain spawn. It's easy and it's one you can try next time you decide to make some grain spawn for yourself. So, when I make grain spawn I like to use jars. They're reusable, fairly cheap and they're commonplace. And they let you see what's going on fairly clearly through the glass. However, when it comes time to perform the break and shake a little later on, unlike grain bags, glass jars are quite cumbersome. They can also be dangerous if you smash the jar while breaking up the mycelium inside. To avoid this, I started to shake up my jars immediately after inoculating to spread the culture throughout the grains and disperse it through the jar. I noticed after an initial lull in the beginning, a rapid and almost explosive growth of the mycelium could be seen with hundreds of inoculation points distributed throughout the grains. These points would then grow out and begin to consolidate remarkably quickly. So in today's video, I have two sets of three jars that I've inoculated with three cc's of culture each. Two of these jars I will shake up just to compare the initial stages of colonization between the shaken jars and the unshaken jars. Anyway, these jars are prepped and inoculated. Let's give a couple a good shake and watch them colonize. So here we can see three jars. The jar in the middle is the one I've shaken after inoculation. Uh, the other two on the sides are just colonizing uh, naturally, shall we call it. And with the jar in the middle, you can really see all those colonization points I mentioned earlier starting to appear. Whereas the other two jars, the ones on either side, uh, the colonization is really following the trail of the inoculum when it was injected into the jars. But it's the shaken up jar I want to focus my attention on. So let's have a closer look. Alright, so here are the jars. We have the two normal jars there. And here is the one I've shaken a little bit earlier. And look at that. Hundreds of little inoculation points. This is about three days after inoculation. But you can see the culture is dispersed all the way through those grains. There they are. Lots and lots of little colonies. This is a few days later. And you can see that those little colonies are starting to join up and consolidate. Some nice growth there. It's looking really good. Spreading out all through the rice. This is at about 10 days, I believe. The coverage continues to grow all through the rice. There's a shot of the bottom of the jar. Really illustrating all those colonization points spread out through the grains. They're going to meet up and form one big clump of mycelium. And just to compare here are the other two jars at the same stage. Nowhere near as much coverage. There's the bottom. And the third jar, same story. Moving a little quicker. But again, really not as fast as the jar that I've shaken right after colonization. Which you can see here again. Looks pretty good. And here we can see the second jar set I put on. And it's much the same story. We have lots and lots and lots of little colonization points throughout the grains. 
spreading rapidly, consuming the rice, and the other two jars in that set. Again, moving a little slower. So just some final thoughts. Uh, shaking right after inoculation does seem to be faster, as you can see on your screen. It seems to be a case of the old subdivision of particles increases the rate of reaction concept from my high school chemistry classes. However, it does require much more testing and experimenting and much more comparison, especially with the break and shake. Unfortunately, technical issues and my life got in the way of that this time. Uh, also, if your grain spawn isn't perfectly sterile, it's going to contaminate like crazy as you're also going to distribute contamination through the rice uh, during the shake. So this isn't really a problem if your grain and cultures are sterile. Anyway, have you tried this before? Did it work for you? Do you hate this? Leave your experiences in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you legends in the next one. Cheers.